ask her how's it going. Dude, you were you horrible. What happened to you? I got a really bad database performance issue again. It must be horrible. I collected tons of data. I mean, I even traced yeah. processes, and I got yeah. I got an AWR report. But there's so yeah. much data, man. I just can't yeah. make sense of it all. Yeah. I feel. I'm getting something, man. It's like a power grid, a station, yeah. wire, lots of wires. Yeah, wrapped exactly, in wire. man. Yeah. The pressure is excruciating. I can it's see like that. It's yeah. on my head, man. Yeah. It's a You're it's confused, a right? You don't have yeah, a power exactly. forward. Dude, you, you are a psychic. Yeah, it's a gift. So, uh, you're frustrated? Yeah, you have no idea. I got man. a little bit Get of the a idea. Of this. I was given a presentation to management uh -oh. about performance, uh -oh. right? And they started mocking uh -oh. my analysis. No. It was embarrassing. Yeah. Okay, I'm seeing a wall. No framework. It's full yeah. of holes. They were saying something about holes. Yeah. But I didn't know what they were talking about. You, I was just so didn't confused know. and frustrated, man. Okay, have you heard of a quantitative framework? Yeah, of course I've heard of that. I use Good. that too frequently. Bi frequently. Semi frequently. Well, how do you know what you're talking about, man? I didn't think so, man. Listen, it's really simple. Users yeah? experience performance through time. Okay. So our analysis has got to be about time. Yeah. You categorize the time, go for the big chunks, right. boom, we solve the problem. I don't know, Oscar, man. You know, I'm starting to feel I'm starting to feel a little bit better right now. Dude, you are not better. I don't know, Oscar. You know, but I'm still I'm constricted, though. Yeah, constricted, I, I know, like man. you're wrapped in wire, maybe, I, man. I'm still and confused about this. everything. Dude, you need help. You need a serious quantitative framework to do your analysis. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun creating that. But think back to the DBA in, in the video. Now his problem was he was so confused that he just got crazy frustrated. And the problem was not for the lack of data. I mean, he had lots of data. He had an AWR report. So the problem was is that he did not know what to do with all the data that he had. He didn't know what to do with all that raw performance data. He couldn't identify the problems, he couldn't drive solutions, and he was unable to communicate the situation to others. So, I mean, of course he's gonna be really frustrated and have a lot of confusion surrounding him. He needs a framework. He needs a path to move forward. And it's gotta work in any performance situation. Even if it's a single SQL statement, a session, a batch process, a rack node, an entire cluster, it just needs to work. So how does this seminar relate to all of this? Well, the value of this seminar is I'm going to teach you how to use an AWR or a stats pack report to tune your Oracle system. Given an AWR or a stats pack report or just some raw performance data, okay, I will teach you how to systematically come up with solutions that will have the most impact on your system. Now what this means is you'll be able to stop the guessing. That's going to give you clarity, which means you're going to have confidence. Now before I get into the details of the seminar, I need to introduce myself. My name is Craig Shallahammer, and I'm a longtime Oracle DBA who specializes in Oracle performance. I'm also an Oracle ACE director. I'm a performance researcher, a blogger, an author, a conference room speaker, and of course, I'm a teacher. So, what's actually in the seminar? Here's a quick overview of all the modules.
performance analysis is a massive and broad scope. So the objective of the first module is to help you to understand where an Oracle time-based analysis fits into this entire process. To accomplish this, I'm gonna broaden the scope beyond an Oracle time-based analysis and an AWR report. And I'm gonna bring you through a few scenarios. And by doing this, you're gonna understand exactly where an Oracle time-based analysis fits in to the entire picture. In the next module, I'm going to introduce a quantitative time-based analysis technique that was developed specifically for Oracle systems, and this is called an Oracle time-based analysis. Our users, they experience performance through time. So if our diagnostic and troubleshooting methodology is based on time, then we should be able to create a quantitative link between our users, what they're experiencing, and our analysis. I'm going to show you how to do this using a standard AWR or Stats Pack report. It's amazing and it will revolutionize your troubleshooting effectiveness. Next, I'm going to introduce time classification, but we're going to start with just CPU time and non idle wait time. Now to do this, we're gonna look at the flow of a single session. Because once we understand what's going on at the session level, when we roll things up into our broader analysis, everything's gonna make sense. Then I'm gonna show you how to take the numerics to create charts. And we're gonna use these charts so we can visualize our analysis path drill down. It's super powerful. In the next two modules, I'm gonna take you on a journey through Oracle CPU consumption and wait time. Now, why am I doing this? Because we need to understand how Oracle gets the raw data. Otherwise, we're not gonna have confidence in the underlying views that we use to create our Oracle time-based analysis. For both CPU and wait time, I'm gonna operating system trace some Oracle processes. This is amazing because we're gonna be able to see how Oracle gets the raw data that we actually see through the V$ dollar views. It's amazing and something that you'll never forget. Specifically related to wait time, I'm gonna show you how Oracle processes determine their wait time. Now specifically, there are three broad areas that processes find themselves in. For example, sometimes a process will know its wait time and sometimes the process doesn't know and it's gonna to have to figure it out. So we're gonna detail each of these. At this point in the seminar, I'm gonna introduce database time, elapsed time, and wall time. Now to do this, I'm gonna run some experiments and I'm gonna include parallel query. When I do this, it really clarifies the situation and you'll be able to see the differences between all three of these. In the sixth module, I'm going to introduce a diagnostic troubleshooting framework that is 100% time-based. It's also going to encompass obvious and natural time classifications. What you'll find is that because both our analysis and our framework are time-based, the problems will just naturally be exposed. It's like they show themselves. And as a result, we will be able to develop solutions that are spot on and that directly go right at those big chunks of time. To teach you this, I'm going to use a spreadsheet that you can download for free off of orbpub.com and a standard AWR report. What you're going to find is that when we use this framework, we're going to know what data we need to get. We're going to go get that data in the AWR report and then we're going to put that data in our framework. It's fascinating because the problems will naturally be exposed. And this gives us the consistency and the forward momentum that we all need in our analysis work. But it's not enough to pinpoint the problems. We also need solutions. And the solutions need to make sense. They need to be obvious. And the solutions need to tie directly back to the underlying problem. So in the next module, I'm gonna show you how to systematically create solutions that go directly at the heart of the underlying problem. In fact, I'm actually gonna broaden the analysis.
because we need to look at more than just what's going on within Oracle. We need to understand the operating system situation. And we need to understand what's going on with the application. Things like the SQL, the user's experience, processes, things like that. The goal of this module is for you to be able to create a list of technically valid solutions that you feel so confident in that you can stand up in your peers and your managers and tell them about. While well, having solid solutions is important, it's not enough. We've got to be able to confidently articulate the situation to others. This way they can more easily embrace our solutions. So the next module is going to focus on turning all the quantitative analysis into an understandable story. I've discovered that given enough time, anyone can learn the Oracle technology. That's not the problem. The problem is communicating effectively, and that becomes a serious career barrier for most DBAs. So in this module, I want to help you push through that barrier so you convincingly and confidently tell your story. And then I will end the seminar with a few remarks and point you to some additional resources. I hope you can see that this is no ordinary seminar. It's not a recorded webinar. It's not even a webinar. You know, it's not a mashup of PowerPoint presentations. I didn't take some of my conference stuff and re just put it together for you. I created this seminar specifically for online video streaming delivery. And I tried to use some special effects to make the learning experience a lot of fun as well as be impactful. Because in the end, my goal is to help enhance your professional career as an Oracle DBA or developer. So let's get started. <music>